Hello and welcome to Dies.biz. Let us go through interview questions on mold design. This Q&A series will focus on following topics. Classification of mold tool based upon injection method. Definition of core and cavity. What is and how to decide the parting line. General considerations in mold design while deciding eject aside. Methods of component ejection system. General considerations in mold design while deciding shrinkage. Error proof assembly of two halves of the mold tool. How to take decision on leader pin side. General considerations while deciding hardness of different parts of mold tool question how mold tool is classified based upon injection method answer vertical and horizontal injection method see the two pictures below Question. Define core and cavity. Answer. Generally convex part of mold tool is core and concave part of mold tool is cavity. In other words core has projection and cavity has deeper profile. Question. What is parting line? Answer. Parting line is the line which divides the mold tool in two halves. See the black colored parting line in below example. Parting line seen on component is called witness line. Question. What are general considerations in mold design while deciding eject aside? Answer. During mold designing designer should try keep whole component on eject aside. If it is not possible then keep maximum volume on eject aside. It is well known fact that when component cools it shrinks towards centroid. In other words it try to stick with the projections a convex profiles on mold tool. The mold half which has maximum such projections can be considered as a ejector side. Another method is to keep less draft angle on ejector. Side mold inserts the draft angle on other side. This helps the component to stick on ejector side only. And nevertheless side cause if needed shall be on ejector side only. Question. What are methods of component ejection system? Most common method is of pushing component by ejector pins. Ejector pins diameter can be as low as 1.5 mm or up to 10 mm depending on component size and availability of space within the mold tool. Another method is of using plate ejector. Advantage of this method is that it avoids completely ejector pin marks on the component. Question. What are general considerations in mold design while deciding shrinkage? When thickness of part varies suddenly, plastic will not flow uniformly inside the cavity of mold tool. Following a few causes of shrinkage. 
If thin section is nearer to gate and thick section is away, plastic in thin portion will cool suddenly not allowing melted plastic to fill inside thick section of mold cavity. When thick section is nearer to gate, plastic will flow inside every zone of cavity but still because thin portion cools rapidly and thick portion remains still melted. It may try to pull already settled thin portion and this may lead to warp edge, then the sink marks. Following is example where thickness of component is varied in increments. Wherever possible at changing heights, instead of vertical faces use tapered or stepped surfaces. Question What is an idea for error proof assembly of two halves of the mold tool? Two halves of the mold tool are assembled with leader pin a guide pin on one half with corresponding bushings on other half. Out of four leader pins keep diameter of one pin, larger than other three pins. This will allow mold not to assemble with wrong orientation. This is called error proofing a poke yoke. Question. How will you take decision on leader pin side? Leader pin come out of mold plates. By default keep leader pins on fixed half side, it is because fixed half side weigh less than movable half. It is easy while assembling two halves to insert four dowel pins into corresponding bushings than vice versa. Another consideration is that the side of mold which has projections outside the mold plate shall have leader pins of length more than projection length. Long leader pins will protect projected mold inserts from damage in case of accident. In figure shown here notice that L1 is greater than L2. Question. What are general considerations while deciding hardness of different parts of mold tool? A well-known fact is that hard material causes wear of soft material when they are moving against each other and are in direct surface contact. In mold keep hardness of easily replaceable part lesser than difficult to replace parts. In an example shown here, ejector pins move forward and backward during each cycle hence are in surface contact with main insert. The air easily replicable than main insert in case of wear. Here the term replaceable is in the sense of ease in procurement, manufacturing and ultimately, the cost. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz for more engineering tutorials.